G'day guys. So if you're using the desktop version of SketchUp, which is downloaded onto all the school computers, or you might have it at home, um, you might have it saved in the toolbar down here. That's what the SketchUp icon looks like. If it's not there, you should be able to click on the start window, scroll down to SketchUp with an S. Here it is. I've got SketchUp 2018. And then just here, click on SketchUp 2018. Okay. Now, the very first thing you need to do is choose a template. And the template we want to use, it will probably start you somewhere up here. It might even have this selected, feet and inches. We need to go down until we see woodworking millimetres. <clears throat> That's the one we want to select, woodworking millimetres, and start using SketchUp. There we go. And your screen should show up pretty well similar to this, right? Now, there's a few things we're going to need to do to set this up so it's ready for us to draw on, for us to do all our activities. Um, so just follow these step by step. If you get confused, rewind the video and have another look. Very first thing is we need to right click in the toolbar up here and we're gonna click on large tool set. And it should pop up with a bunch of other tools just over on the side here. It may have popped up somewhere random on your screen like that. If that's the case, just click on it, drag it off to the side and it should go in another, its own window over there. Right, there's your large tool set. The next thing we need is the solid tool set right click and click solid tools. We're gonna to use a couple of these later on. So just save that there for um, when we need them. Now, that's all the tools we're gonna to need to do any of these drawings. The only other thing we're gonna to need to do is change this background color from the gray that it is to a white. I just find that helps us later on when we start um, doing more modeling and doing more furniture drawing and things like that. But to change the background to white, all you need to do is you need to go to edit over here in styles. Um, if you can't see styles, you might have a few too many trays open. So you're just gonna need to click all of the arrows to close these trays. And it should something, look something like that. If you open up styles, and then you go to edit, there's a little um, icon here, and it looks like a block with a brown background. That's the one you wanna click on. And that gives you an option to change the background color. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna make sure we're in RGB, and we're just gonna drag these sliders all the way across until they say 255 in all of them, right? 255 on all colors for RGB means it's gonna go white. Then we can click OK, and that changes the background to white, okay? Much better. Now, because we've got this um, set up exactly as we want it, we should save it as a template. So if we go to File, Save as Template, and we'll just call this one um, White Background with Millimeters. Just call it the exact same name as that. Um, we can copy that, control C, oh, it already, um, if you just click there, it should do it straight away. Um, white background template millimeters set as default template, make sure that box is ticked and we'll go save. Okay, so next time, if we exit SketchUp now, if we open SketchUp again, we go to choose template, it should automatically go to white background template millimeters. That's the one we wanna use now. So if we go start using SketchUp, it takes us straight to a white background document. All right, perfect. Um, I think you guys should be ready to um, now go ahead and start with some of those activities. There's just a few, a couple of little tips and tricks that I might show you in the meantime. The main one that I want you guys to get the hang of at the start, and this is the mistake most, most students will make, is with the rectangle tool, for example, or any of these drawing tools you might use, students get in the habit of clicking and holding the mouse down and dragging. And then whenever they take their finger off the mouse, it drops the shape there, right? With nearly every single tool in SketchUp, you need to not click and drag. You need to click once, move the mouse and click again. I'll show you how that works. I'll just undo the shape that I've done here by pressing, holding down Control and pressing Z. Control Z is undo. Um, with the rectangle tool, it when you whenever you press Control, it switches to a center rectangle like this but that's okay. You just press control to swap it back to the rectangle you want. And you can see, I've got, I haven't got my finger on the mouse button. I'm moving around like this and I can, wherever I want to um, put my rectangle in, I can put my rectangle in. I haven't, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna drop the shape when I let go of the mouse, right? Down here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen is the dimensions. You're gonna need to keep an eye on that because everything we draw here, we need to draw it exact to the millimeter. So you're gonna need to type in the exact numbers that you want something to be. 
So for example, with the first drawing, you need to draw a rectangle that's 100 by 100 millimeters. So you would type in on the keyboard, 100, 100, and you see that comes up in the bottom right corner of the screen, enter, and then you've got a little rectangle like that. To look at that a little bit closer, you can zoom in, right, just with the scroll wheel like that. Um, and that, that would probably be the main tip I would give you. Just make sure you're clicking once, moving the mouse, clicking again, or clicking the mouse, moving it the direction you want, type in your numbers and hit enter. That's the best way to draw shapes in SketchUp. Make sure we're not clicking and dragging or you're gonna run into all sorts of problems. Okay, I think you guys are probably now ready to get started with activity number one. So if you just wanna to go to the next set of videos, the tutorial videos, and I think the first video is called number one square block. All right, have fun.